You're watching WRDE Coast TV. Here's your WRDE Wednesday web news update. I'm Walt Farkas in for vacationing Abby Smith. Former Delaware Governor Jack Markell is back home after a 4,000 mile bike ride. He dipped his front bike wheel into the ocean in Rehoboth Beach yesterday afternoon. Markell raised $120,000 for several Delaware nonprofits. He started at the Pacific Ocean in Astoria, Oregon in June. The former governor's road trip took him through 10 states and Canada on his way back to the first state. Meteorologists confirmed it was a tornado that slammed into a Salisbury neighborhood. The twister was caught on surveillance camera at Hooper's Restaurant. You can see powerful winds tossing cars like toys. Meteorologists say winds could have been at more than 100 miles an hour. The tornado came through just before 2 Monday afternoon. Bennett Middle School is getting a bigger cafeteria. The Wacomico County Board of Education unanimously approved the expansion of the Bennett Middle School cafeteria. The school, two years old, has outgrown the cafeteria. The expansion will add more than 100 new seats. The project will cost $1.5 million. Construction set to begin in December. One of Wacomico County's most wanted is behind bars. Laurel Police arrested 36-year-old Wayne Lashley on Sunday. A sheriff's deputy tried to stop him in Salisbury, but he sped off on Route 13. Delmar and Laurel Police used stop sticks to flatten his tires. Police say Lashley had drugs in his car and was DUI. He was on Wacomico County's most wanted list because of an animal cruelty charge filed last year. Here are the WRDE Shorts Marine Weather Kids, Ava and Talon Rock. Today, sunny with a high 80, northeast wind 3 to 7 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 60. Our WRDE Person of the Day is Matt Wilson of Rehoboth Beach. If you see Matt today, tell him to have a great day. That's the WRDE Wednesday Web Update. I'm Walt Farkas, filling in for Abby Smith.